Kate Hegseth's future confirmation is on shaky ground. The president-elect's pick for defense secretary is under fire amid a sexual assault allegation, which he has denied, and other emerging reports about his work conduct and history. And now there is talk of replacing him. Scripps News congressional correspondent Nathaniel Reed joins us live from Capitol Hill. And Nate, could this be the end of Pete Hegseth's nomination? Well, not necessarily. He's still meeting with senators up here on Capitol Hill. He just entered a meeting with uh, Senator Joni Ernst. We don't know if she's yet in that room, but he's still actively meeting with senators. We do know that he canceled a meeting tomorrow with Senator Josh Hawley, the Republican from Missouri. So again, you know, a very fluid schedule amid concerns that, you know, he might not have the support needed to uh, become the Secretary of Defense. Now, he spoke with reporters earlier. He didn't specifically address any of the allegations that have been made against him. He didn't specifically say whether uh, uh, Trump, you know, still has his back. He basically, you know, just said, listen to another interview he did with conservative media where he, you know, refuted a number of the allegations that had been levied against him. His mother was on Fox uh, News this morning where she defended him and defended a letter that she had written seven years ago uh, calling him an abuser of women that was obtained by the New York Times. Uh, again, she said that that, you know, letter was not uh, uh, correct in terms of how she feels about her son. So, uh, you know, again, we're, we're hearing a lot of things that could potentially trouble his nomination. Uh, he's, you know, th there's some reports that he could have difficulty getting the support needed to uh, be confirmed as Secretary of Defense. And we spoke with Senator Richard Blumenthal earlier, the Democrat from Connecticut, who told us that Republicans have privately come to him and said he, they don't believe that he will be able to be confirmed. Take a listen. I would be very surprised if we're still talking about peak headset next Monday, even by the end of the week. You, you just don't think he has enough support? I've talked to five to ten Republicans who have said to me they're just waiting for the right moment to say no to Pete has said. And again, those Republicans have not spoken out publicly. No Republican has publicly said that they do not want to support Hegseth's nomination. Some have said that they have concerns. Joni Ernst is one of the uh, Republican senators who, uh, you know, ha has been, uh, there's been a lot of attention on this meeting, given that she uh, likely will ask him about some of those sexual assault allegations that have been levied uh, against him. So again, his nomination, you know, by no means looking like a sure thing. Senate Majority Leader, incoming Senate Majority Leader John Thune said he wants to kick off these uh, confirmations as soon as inauguration day of next year but again you know this is a uh, you know a tough moment for him and uh, there are some reports that he uh, is not going to be here on Capitol Hill tomorrow we've been unable to you know independently confirm those but again his nomination could be in serious trouble we're still several months out though from those confirmation hearings getting underway here on Capitol Hill okay we know you'll keep us posted on what happens in those meetings there are other names though one of the other people that trump has floated as a potential replacement for hegseth is florida governor ron DeSantis. do you think he could have a smoother path if hegseth withdraws the one thing i've heard from a number of democrats is they believe that any other uh, person uh, uh, nominated for the position of secretary of defense could potentially have an easier confirmation path uh again not exactly clear that he uh, uh that florida governor DeSantis nominated he's been someone that we understand has been floated internally by the Trump camp but again they still haven't publicly given up hope on Pete Hegseth you know they're still publicly backing his nomination and you know until something changes it, it seems like uh, Hegseth is still at least up for the job the fact that he is canceling meetings though up here on Capitol Hill certainly raising red flags especially for his ability to be confirmed uh, with uh, uh, you know the an, an, enough votes uh, that, that he needs Again, I, I want to point out that Republicans don't need any Democratic support to, to confirm the vast majority of these nominees. They will have 53 seats next Congress. As long as four Republican senators don't back out of any specific nomination, um, they'll be able to confirm who they want without any Democratic support. The major question is, will they even have enough Republican support to get someone like Pete Hegseth across the finish line? At this point, that is not. there's no clear answer to that, and no Republican has come out and said that they are specifically not going to support him. All right, good information. Scripps News Congressional Correspondent Nathaniel Reed for us. Thank you.